Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am back with very interesting SQL trick. I have used this trick many times in my career. Many times what happens, we have a table data, right? This is the table data and we want to create insert statements for these data, right? So that we can use these insert statement for multiple purposes. Like we can use it to run in another environment. I want to create similar data in some other environment, right? Or I want to share this data with someone else. So instead of giving Excel file or some other file, we can directly give insert a statement so that they can be directly executed in their SQL window, right? So it becomes tricky because here you have five rows. So you can manually create these insert statements, right? But let's say you have hundreds or thousands of lakhs of rows. It becomes difficult how to create insert statement. So in today's video, we will see how we can dynamically create insert statement with very minimal effort. Okay. Very interesting concept. Do watch this video till end and share with your friend. It will definitely going to help you. So what we will do, we have this data and we are going to generate this insert statement dynamically. Okay. No matter how much data is, this script will run, run for everything. And I have taken all kinds of common uh, columns like integer column, where column and a date column. Now interesting thing in insert statement is the integer column, right? Or decimal columns should be without single quotes and date columns and where care columns should be with single quotes. So we have to take care of it while we create the insert statement. Okay. So what we will do is let's start. So what I'm going to do is I will create this string using concat using concat function in concat function. You can pass multiple parameters. So for example, if I say concat, okay, so I have employee ID right and i have let's say employee name right i'm just saying this concat employee id and employee name okay and if i run this you will see all these two are concatenated there is no space nothing but i'm just telling that you can have multiple columns you can even add salary here and these three columns will be concatenated right one ankit ten thousand right but the problem is we have to create a statement like this insert into AMP values, all the single quotes, comma, everything should come, right? We can't just have all the values together. So for that, how we will do is so first in the first concat, I will say in the single quotes insert into right. This is my statement insert into let me take till here. So till here it is a constant value, right? For all the statement. Till here, I have to put the literal value. So this becomes my first statement, the first argument to the concat function. Second, what I need second after this, I need this one, which is employee ID. So second, I will pass employee ID. Okay. So let's see so far how it is coming. If you see insert into employee values and then this bracket and employee ID is coming, which is perfect. Now what I need next, I need comma, right? So I will add one more comma. This is my third, third argument. And in the single quotes, I will give comma, right? So now comma is also coming. Perfect. Now the mo most complex part. Now what I need is single quote, right? Now, if I pass single, if I pass single quotes in single quotes, it doesn't work. So if I run this, it is giving me error, right? Unclosed quotation marks because there are three single quotes. It is getting confused that this single quote is starting here, ending here. So to achieve this, I need to escape it by passing one more single quote, right? So if I do this, if I give four single quotes, it will give me one single quote in the output. So you can do that. Alternatively, the easy way is we can pass we can pass care 39. Care 39 represents the single quote. So if I pass care 39, again I will get the single quote. This is an easier way I see. Right. Otherwise, four single quotes you have to pass. So we have now K39. We have the single quote. What I need next? I need employee name. So I will put employee name. Right. And after that, again, single quote is required. So again, one more argument I'm passing as 39. Okay. Let's see how our string is looking like now. So awesome. We have insert into employee values one Ankit. Next is salary. So I will pass. Now again, I need a comma. Right. So I will pass a comma and again, I will say salary, right? And if I run it again, we will get salary also in our insert statement, right? Awesome. 
next is what again i need a comma so again i will say comma right after that again i need for date of birth i need to put single quote so i will say care 39 right and then i have date of birth okay next again and I, I need single quote so care 39 and if i run this now we have got till here single quotes right in the end what we need we need one more bracket ending with it and one semicolon to end the insert statement so i will just go in the right i will i will put one more comma here i will pass in single quotes one closing bracket and single uh, semicolon and if i run this now we have the insert statement ready right so we can just take this and we can just run this right and we have the insert statement ready it is all running awesome so if you see we will have total of 10 rows in my final table select star from emp right five values are already there five more so total 10 are there right again if i need to do this i will get the insert statement of all 10 you can again just copy it right you can just copy it like that select all control c and it is copied and then you can give it to anyone right so it is dynamic thousands of millions of records it will be in no no time you will have the insert statement ready hope you like the video it is very very useful i have used it many times do like the video share with your friends subscribe to my channel have a great 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 day bye bye